Hello and welcome back. This is part four of our Formstack platform overview where we will be covering how to connect and integrate our three core products. This video assumes that you've already watched the first three videos in our series and have some general knowledge on how to navigate and use our products. We'll continue to use our example of creating a new hire form, which generates a PDF to be delivered for signature. Let's start with how to connect your form to your document. Before we do this, we need to copy some information that can be found on your Formstack Documents account. Let's get logged in and then navigate to the drop-down option under Name in the top right corner of your Formstack Documents account. Once here, you can click on API Access and then we'd recommend copying that API key in secret. This key will be required to connect your Formstack forms and documents accounts. Now that we have this information, Let's navigate back to our form and to the Settings tab, and then over into Integrations. From Integrations, we want to select Formstack Documents and then add the information that we just saved from our account. It's worth noting that you can reuse this information for future forms that would also require integrating with Formstack Forms. Once we've made these changes and we're connected to our Docs account, you will navigate to map to a single document and hit choose document and then find the document you created in the drop down list. Now all of the merge fields from our document should populate on the left and you will need to match them up to the corresponding form fields using the drop down on the right. Let's walk through mapping our fields. Name will go with name, address with address, and so on. Once everything is mapped, Let's make sure our integration is either on or in test mode if we just want to see how the integration performs. Please note that switching it to test mode will result in a document that has a testing watermark over it and will not take up one of your merge counts on Formstack documents. At this point, we have our form connected to our Formstack documents account, but we will still need to set up our delivery within Formstack documents for the document to be signed. Let's go ahead and jump back into our Formstack Documents account. Let's navigate over to the document that we were previously working on and click on Edit to the right of that document. From here, we want to navigate over to the Document Builder and make sure we're adding those sign tags. Sign tags are similar to merge fields and are just telling the sign product where to prompt people for their signature, date, or initials. Just like a merge field, you should place these on the document wherever you want that piece of information to appear. We're going to add a signature tag for this document by clicking on the Insert eSignature tag and choosing the Formstack Sign option. If we wanted more than one signer for this document, we would just need to add a 2 instead of a 1 at the end of the additional signature tag. Once we have our e-signature tag in place, we will want to change the font color to white in order for just the signature to appear and for the text to blend into the background of the document. Once we've finished setting up this document for signature, we'd want to move over to the Delivery tab. In today's example, we want the document to be delivered to the new hire for signature, and then we'd like for the signed copy to be sent out in a separate email to our HR team. To get started, we're going to make sure that we have the email delivery set up for our HR team. Following our previous delivery example, we can configure the subject and body of the email, as well as add any merge fields that we want to populate in the message itself. After we finish adding our email delivery, let's go ahead and add Formstack Sign as a delivery method. Clicking on New Delivery again, and then clicking on Formstack Sign, from here, we will want to make sure we're able to log in to our Formstack Sign account in order to authenticate and connect both our document and sign accounts. It's worth noting that all of the configuring we need to do for Formstack Sign is done within Formstack Documents. In our third video in this series, we wanted to make sure you knew how to use Formstack Sign as an independent product and had an understanding of how it works. Once we've signed into our Formstack Sign account, we want to configure who will be signing this document. Starting with our first signer, 
you'll notice that you can click on the drop-down list to populate the name and email of the signer from the form that's being filled out. Another option is pulling the signer's phone number if we wanted to send the document via SMS for signature. If you'd like to add an additional signer, you can click on the Add Another Participant option to either add or CC another participant. It's worth noting that the order you configure your signers in is the order that document will go through from beginning to end. If you choose to CC someone and there's nowhere for them to sign, they will need to approve the document before it's completed. Another important option to configure when setting up your deliveries is delaying other deliveries until the signing process is completed. We can easily accomplish this by clicking on More Options and then by clicking on the Delay Other Deliveries Until Signing is Complete option, and then by selecting the other delivery we want to delay. This will ensure that the email delivery we set up won't be sent until the signing process is completed. There are several other useful options here, like putting in an email that can be notified if this delivery runs into any issues. Now that we've set up our document for signature, Let's test it out to see what it would look like from the participant's perspective. To start, we will fill out the form that we had created earlier. Once filled out, you will notice an email with instructions to review and sign a document that was created based on our Formstack document setup. We will go ahead and sign this document. Now that the document has been signed, a completed version will be sent to the participants and to the separate email that we used for our example. We hope you enjoyed our platform series on how to use and connect all three of our core products. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please remember that you can always click on this eye icon on the top right corner to get in touch with our support team or search for any useful articles on our site. Thank you for watching.